Well, hello there, guys. My name's MV, and welcome to Project M. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> hey, so I, uh, I bet you guys are wondering, hey, why do you got a netherite helmet? Why do you got netherite pants on Elytra? Everything's, everything's all enchanted. What do you, how is this your first episode? Well, um, unfortunately, I didn't uh, decide to start doing some videos until a little bit in the game. So I want to catch you up to this episode. Let's get to catching you up. Hey, so I wanted to introduce you to some of the teams around here. We have four teams, but unfortunately, one of the teams um, had to break up. And basically now, we have three major teams and one area of the world that is uh, kind of all for one. Um, we call it No Man's Land. Um, team number one consists of Magic Gill, Winter Alarm, Kismet, or like we, we like to say, Mama Magic. Um, Kismet is Magic's mother. In real life, they're the whole reason why we call her Mama Magic, I think, explains itself. <laughs> um, and also on team one is Froglift and Laz. Their base consists of a desert biome. The, the biome is surrounded um, by a little island, a bunch of water, and uh, one of the bigger islands that we'll get to in a little bit. On the sand or desert biome, um, they started their first base off. Got a little bit crazy, a little bit hectic, had all the farms start off, and um, had moved to this wonderful, wonderful uh, sand temple <laughs> built by Magic and Mama Magic. Mama Magic is really good at some of the interior work on most of the builds. She does villagers, she does farms, she's kind of the whole package. And then you have Magic, and that's, this is why they play well together, because he does the outside builds gets the ideas, and Mama Magic does the insides. What's also cool is, um, as I said, Team 3 had been kind of taken out. So uh, when we dispersed the members, Oz had joined their team pretty early in the game. And Oz is an amazing detail builder. He, he can build stuff. He has the imagination for it. And um, you'll see a lot from him as we go. Then you got me. I started off at Team 2. Um, nothing wrong with the team. We just had a little bit of um, inactivity, which kind of leads to um, a lot of wonder, a lot of what are we doing? How are we going to do it? When are they going to get on? So um, I decided to basically move over to team one. Very accepting of me. It was kind of, you know, almost planned from the beginning and uh, it's been great. Um, I've been working on an area um, that we like, we, the big island that we call it. Um, Magic made this amazing bridge that goes all the way across to it, and we're turning the entire island into a story. And the story is a medieval um, type build with some pirates. We're going to have farmers, merchants. Uh, we're going to have a castle. We're going to have a king. We're going to do everything we can to this land to just make it amazing. And um, the latest project that I've been working on is the uh, castle, as you notice. Uh, Castle has been taking a lot of my time up, uh, <clears throat> and the detail builds in it are going to be uh, done by Oz and Mama Magic, while Magic helps me with most of the exterior builds, which is going to be very, very fun. Now bringing you over to Team 2. Uh, team 2 consisted of Fire Rock, MV, me, <laughs> Lancer, LK, and Oberon. LK does some amazing redstone builds, uh, furnaces, super smelters, I mean, um, slime farm, bamboozler, <laughs> and I made some uh, sugarcane farms, you know, the, the, uh, the cactus farm, and um, uh, pretty much all fed the farms that needed it with bone meal, fuel, etc., the whole point of uh, Team 2 was to create a futuristic city with all kinds of cool um, little gadgets and gizmos flying around. LK has decided to stay in this area, which is a great, great thing. Um, he's built this massive, massive storage system with complete with sewers all around the place so that you could just throw in an item and you can basically set it on down, uh, send it up into the sorter. Uh, from anywhere on the base, which is amazing. Um, fire 
Fire Rock, one of um, the best builders on the server. There are some great builders on here, but um, uh, Fire, if you ask around, it takes the cake in, in, in some of the exterior and interior builds that he has. Um, we call him basically the creative player because he is one of those guys that can just make it and we get the resources for him and he goes ham, which is which is uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, you'll see the, the futuristic build that he made for the villager center. Um, each floor has its own villager um, and it was going to be, you know, filled out all the way and stuff and probably still will. Um, right now, that is where I use my villagers to do some of my mending, get my books, blah, 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 right? Um, and down at the bottom, you'll notice that there uh, is a dropper sign up on the wall. Dropper is something that we have created, Fire and I, through the seasons and through the servers that we've been through. Um, as I said, we've all come together over different servers, making um, basically one uh, great, great server. And as I said, unfortunately, Team 3 did end up uh, breaking apart. Um, Oz went over to uh, Team 1, and Loki um, went over to uh, Team 4, as well as JW. Team 4. Team 4. What, what can I say about Team 4? Team 4 is a great, great team. In the beginning, we joked about it being stacked, because you have some crazy crazy farm builders on that team um crazy builders uh, a lot of time um and effort that's going to be put into the builds is just going to become amazing um you've got mason mason is a um great all-around player makes some uh, insane ideas of farms and holes and uh just really loves to play this game and you got morgan mr biden and blades they are all great, great players of the game. Um, they mess around. They come They come and uh, give you some excitement, give you some entertainment while you're on the server. Always fun to talk to. Great farmers, great builders, all of that. Um, Q. Q is, again, uh, this team is stacked. It's it, That's what we like to say. It's it, He's a great builder. He makes plenty of farms, does... Things that you just don't even expect a Minecraft player to do, and he 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 takes he takes the cake just like a lot of the people on this server. So basically, what they're doing is they have a Japanese style uh, Kung Fu Panda influenced theme that they're going to run throughout their base. They're on a acacia biome, a look, um, surrounded by a bunch of desert, and they have plenty and plenty of room to terraform up a bunch of mountains. Yeah. Yeah. Plains biome, but making it into mountain area. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I expect some great things from them. Uh, they already have a few builds up as the season progresses, and um, we're going to be spending a lot of time um, checking out others' bases. And, and I can't forget JW. 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 JW, great builder, just like Q, just like Mason, awesome farms. He's he just he have you have fun when you're on with him. So now I want to say that you are all caught up. Welcome to Project M. Project M started before the 1.17 update. Um, we started in a 4,000 by 4,000 border, which um, uh, created some tightness, but enough for us to. Um, start building, but we did love when the new update came out um, We were able to expand the border get the world generation get the new blocks get the new textures get the Everything that 1.17 offered and it is really going to change uh, some of the build style. We got deep slate As you can see behind me. Yes, just like behind me as well. There is the new deep slate ores which look f amazing and of course up over the shoulder are the diamonds. Diamonds are a currency in this season, and they're very valuable. And we will be making a lot this season. I want you guys to get comfortable seeing this. This is my area of the base so far. We have an overstock area. We have another corner for our teammates to live in. And we have Oz's Corner. Oz's Corner is really cool. 
He's a very great interior designer. I hope to learn a lot from him. Um, with my room, I wanted to basically interpret uh, the new blocks that we got from the season. Um, obviously not all of them. I still wanted to keep it in a decorative manner um, and excuse the border outlines for um, they're just a resource pack from Vanilla Tweaks, which is a great uh, website to use for all the data packs and um, uh, resource packs, texture packs, stuff like that. Um, makes it really easy to find stuff. Um, being colorblind in caves, uh, the caves and, caves and cliffs update has made it a little bit easier for me to see in there, but it is uh, a little bit difficult when I'm trying to mine um, and I see things uh, like that and I don't want to miss them. Yeah, I uh, we have these heads that drop from Vanilla Tweaks as well. Um, we have a backup set of armor, all kinds of cool stuff, and just a little bit of interior decoration. Showing you a little bit more of the main base. Um, villagers are my main thing, hence hence my look. I, I, am, a, <laughs> I am a villager. Um, and, uh, I've always been, all of my skins basically interpret what I'm doing that season and what's going on. Um, I have my own villagers back at, um, the other base. I haven't been able to fully move over yet, but, um, all my intentions are good to move over. Going down here is our item sorter. Magic's been working really hard on this and, um, there's just a lot of resources that go into a sorter this big, um, and he's been taking his time, doing a great job, and we're going to have a awesome, awesome sorter. So obviously, as we go on, um, the Let's Play will give us a sense of what we're doing, um, bring you on a journey um, that we'll go through to have an awesome, awesome progress on bases. And I hope to be, you know, somewhat immersive, uh, let you guys um, kind of dictate, you know, what we do, I want you to be part of the progress, and I want you to see my build style. It's going to be a fun journey. Some other cool stuff I want to tell you guys about the server is um, we use the vanilla tweaks that the hermits use. Um, we use some of their data packs. Some of the data packs is a one-man sleep, which makes the server a lot easier to use. Um, obviously, and um, a lot of a lot of little different fun things like you'll notice my cords on the screen, um, the time of day, and um, a lot of cool things with hermit heads from the wandering traders, and all other interesting things. Fast leaf decay. Each time you see something new, I'll try to explain it. Now it's time to go show you the big mega project of the season. Yeah. Mega. <laughs> All right, let's go over there right now. All right, we are arriving. This is the initial part that you get to see um, right off the bat. We're going to start more at the pirate docks here. Um, these were the first things that Oz and I um, have created. Just the, the sheer scale of, of the buildings um, as to the roofs are just... You know, lopsided, heavy, that's the whole point of medieval. Great textures, um, got some inspiration uh, from a couple people um, that have posted their pictures online, just awesome. Then we kind of go into a little merchant area um, where we're going to have multiple different stuff. Everything is going to be filled, um, might turn into a shopping district, might turn into uh, basically like over storage, uh, our bulk storage and uh, the good stuff like that. In the distance is the castle. We'll get to that soon. Um, but as the sun sets on the pier, um, we have awesome, awesome docks made of spruce. We got some really cool um, basalt that we interpreted into um, the build, which isn't easy. Basalt, basalt's an interesting block. Again, a little bit of change of style on the roofings, um, but uh, still the same idea. You got your bottoms that you're usually made out of the stone, and then it comes up with all wood um, and just some high roofs. That That's kind of how uh, medieval style was, or at least the style um, that we are going for. As you can see, none of the builds on the inside are actually filled up yet. That is um, going to be uh, one of the most fun things that we're going to do is the detailing. I am basically an outside builder. I 
do not perform well on the inside, but Minecraft's all about learning, and that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to do a quick sleep, and we'll show you around. Hey. All right, now that we have um, slept through the night, we can see a little bit more of the uh, builds. Um, the docks are multi-level to create some depth. We've got a bunch of different storage buildings, um, tall buildings, big buildings. We're, we're going to be filling up the entire island, and the island is huge. Oz is making a awesome boat. Um, ship, I should say. Unfortunately, I am a visual learner. Usually I have to see um, a build and then I can um, interpret it in my own way. As we fly over to the castle, this castle has definitely taken a long time. Um, it has taken me at least three days of some pretty hardcore hours um, put in. The different walls create um, height. The um, the design in the walls creates some depth to the outside um, build. This is um, one of the biggest things that I have built in a Minecraft server, and I am nowhere near to done. Nowhere near done. I did create the bottom layer um, off of the ground on purpose. Uh, yes, yes, I know it looks terrible right now, but um, as you can see right there, the mountain has already, you know kind of giving you the the feel of what we're going to do and terraform the entire area underneath this thing which is going to be a project in itself as well. I do have to show you though where we got all this stone because this was graciously mined by Mama Magic. She is creating a creeper farm, so let's run over there real quick. So one gigantic hit later we do have a bunch of stone that was previously mined and trust me this will definitely be in the let's play <laughs> anyway um, this is where we got the stone um, for the castle um, cobblestone stone stone turned into bricks and you know as you can tell I've diminished the stock all right coming back in on the castle um, again, this this initial video is to kind of give you a sense of uh, what we're doing um, on this Let's Play. We're going to have a bunch of fun, and um, we're going to have a lot of builds that we need to create. We're going to have a reason for every building that is here, um, and that is just the fun of it. Thank you again, guys, for watching this video, and this is MV signing off. <laughs> Later, guys.